Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will see the Roman 2 integer problem which is from lead code number 13 and it is a most frequently asked problem in Apple and Amazon. A must watch video after this will be how to convert an integer to Roman and I have already made a video on this. You will find the link for it in the description below so you can go there and check. Before looking at the problem statement, I would like to announce about our DSA live training program which will guarantee understanding of every programming concept. It makes you interview ready in just 3 months and it will maximize your offers so that you get the best possible pay and in the best possible company you can. All the sessions will be live interactive sessions so you will get the feel of a live class and you can ask all your doubts throughout the class. In order to get more details, please WhatsApp us on this given number. Let us now look at the problem statement. In this video, we will see how to convert the string format Roman number into an integer number. Now, if you look at this problem, we are given a chart on the left hand side where symbol and its corresponding values are given. Now, if we look at the Roman number and write down all the equivalent uh, representations then you will see that the best possible data structure to find out what is the equivalent value of C is you can take a key value pair and that key value pair is uh, stored in a map data structure so you can store this entire chart in a map data structure now you can easily query what is the value of C from this map so go to the key of C and get the value 100 so we can write here 100 right now again for this C we can write 100 so you can keep adding them up when you move from left to right again for L it is 50 for X it is 10 10 10 1 1 1 and if you add all these values it will be equals to 283 and this is how it is solved now what is the order in which the values are represented you will see that it is it is a non increasing order right. So once you see a higher value, you will not see any higher value than that on the right hand side. Okay, that is true for this 283. Now let's look at the next number which is 497. Now let's try to represent all the values moving from left to right. What is the value of C? It is 100. And what is the value of D? It is 500. Okay. Now if we add 100 to 500, you know we will not be uh, seeing 497 we will be exceeding the value. Now whenever you see that there are two items, one on the left is actually smaller than one on the right, then the smaller number has to be subtracted from the larger number. So in case of this CD, 100 is smaller than 500, hence 100 has to be subtracted from 500. So what we can do in this case is, we can write minus 100 plus 500 in this case. And uh, we can simply move on to the third one, which is X. X is 10 and you will see that C is 100. Again, X is smaller than C. So we can write minus 10 plus 100, which is equivalent to writing 90. Okay. Now this V is 5 and this is 1 and this is 1. So we can write 5 plus 1 plus 1 and this will be equals to 497. You can check it out. So if the representation of all the elements is non-increasing, then simply add all the values but in between there can be hiccups that is the graph can become increasing and in, in such a case take two items and uh, subtract the lower item from the higher item and that is done in pairs okay so what we need to do is we have to maintain what is the ith item and the i plus 1th item and we have to continuously use the sliding window technique which will actually include one item at a time and leave one item at a time on the left side in such a way that you, you check if the ith element is uh, smaller than the i plus 1th element and if that is the case then you subtract the ith element from the actual integer representation otherwise you, you just add it up okay now let's take an example okay let's take an example so for this 789 what does this d and, and the adjacent element represent here so this is DC, right? So D is 500. You can just query it from the map and C is 100. So again, this is non-increasing. So it is completely fine to add uh, this 500. This is I. Now I will move to this C. Okay. And now I plus, check with the I plus 1th item. Now I, I plus 1th item is also 100. 
So you can just add the ith item and then you can move on to the next item. Check ith item with i plus 1th item. This L is 50. So again, you can add the ith item because uh, it is a non-increasing curve. Now I will update to the next item and i plus 1th item will be x. So this is 10 and this is 50. So again, you can add 50 because this is non-increasing, right? Now this becomes i and it and this is i plus 1. Now they both are equal and equal elements are said to be non-increasing as well. So you can just add 10 and uh, now your i is here and i plus 1 is this one. Again add 10. Now your i is here and i plus 1 is here. And again add a 10. Now when you reach i to this 1, right? And then i plus 1 to x. You will see that this x is equals to 10, right? Now 1 is actually less than 10. So we have to subtract 1 and then move to the last element and you can add this 10. And this will be equivalent to writing 789. Okay. Now let us take a final example to clarify all your doubts. So we will take something like D, X, C, V, I. And let us find out what is the actual integer representation of this number. Now we will be tracking two items, i and i plus 1th item. What is the i-th item here? 500. i plus 1th item is, uh, it is 10. So yes, 500 is uh, greater than equals to 10. So this is a non-increasing curve. So just add 500 to the given value. I will take a value variable initially initialize to 0. And I will add 500. Now I will take the next window. So I will have to leave out this d and take this c in. So in the next window, basically i and i plus 1th item, you check what is the value of c, it is 100. Now since this 10 is less than 100, this is a actual increasing curve, so I will have to decrease this 10, right? Because xc should give me a value 90, it should not give me more than 90, okay? Now the next window is this cv and the value of v is 5, right? So this is again a non-increasing curve, so you can add 100. Again, the next window is VI, I's value is 1. So you can simply add 5 and now the last item you can just add it up. And if you do this, then you will get 596 as the given value. So this is how you can solve it. How did we solve it? We are given a string S where actually S is the Roman representation. And we can just iterate from left to right, follow this entire process, store the chart initially in the form of a map where the symbols are characters and the values are integer types. And simply we can query what is the value for two adjacent items and either we add or subtract and finally get to the entire integer value. So the time complexity for this is we are querying every time on a map which is let's say order of one and then we are going through the entire string representation so this is order of length of the string so we can say that the time complexity is order of length of the roman string now let us have a look at the code now this is the code for roman to integer representation you can see that on the left side we were given the chart and using this we can create a map and after creating the map of character and uh, the value is integer we will take a value variable initialized to 0 and uh, we will calculate by moving through the string left to right. And this is the movement. You can see that i is the position pointer and then we are checking if ith item is actually less than the i plus 1th item and if that is the case then the, then the adjacent items are actually in increasing order. So if this is x, this is y, then I will have to take if we take them together then that should be y minus x something like i x is equals to 10 minus 1 which is equals to 9 right so we have to take it in this order or what we can do is we can write it minus 1 plus 10 so in this case we are just subtracting this this number okay so we are doing minus whatever is the value of the ith item and whenever we see that the graph is either like this, either two items are equal i and i plus 1th item or ith item is larger than the i plus 1th item, then we simply add the ith item that is in the correct order. And we don't have to do anything else. Finally, we get the result in the value and return the integer representation. So the only catch in this entire problem was 
uh, to understand that two adjacent values if they are in ascending order we have to subtract the current item from the larger item okay so i hope you were able to understand this problem if you have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming videos see you guys in the next video thank you